congratulate sa akin sa text. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Basta congratulations lang. Tapos, wala mang dahilan. Kasi, ba bakit kaya? Anong, siyempre, nalimpungatan pa ako. So, I'm thinking, baka naman na nanaginip pa ako. Baka talagang hindi pa ako gising. Kasi wala naman akong ginawa na alam kung, um, no mga panahong yun, kasi naglinis ako sa angry dogo nun. So, para feeling ko, dapat pa ako yung congratulate kasi naglinis ako ng kusina. <laughs> so, wala, wala. I was not, I was not uh, aware of what's happening. Though I know that our film was in Cairo, alam kong nangyayari, pero wala kasi akong expectations or whatsoever. And then finally, si Direk Brillante congratulated me and sent me a photo of the award. So, doon na nagsikit sa akin na, ay! So, alam ko lang sa asawa ko, ba? Nanalo ko! Nasa bathroom, na naalala ko na, when we were in the bathroom, um, kasi doon kami nagkakape, kasi nga, bakit ko ba yung na-explain? <laughs> uh, so, parang, um, hindi ako makapaniwala eh, kasi parang, ngayon lang siya actually nagsikit sa akin kasi hawak ko na siya, pero for the longest, time, mula nung kinagratulate ako at, at ang dami nang bumati sa akin, part of me was not naka-shutdown siya. Eh. Parang hindi. Hindi to totoo. Hindi talaga ito nangyayari. But, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, um, it's a very, very big blessing for, for 2019. Not just for me, but for the Philippines. For, for the industry, for the cinema. Um, it's nice that we've been known in different parts of the world. Um, hindi ko maintindi, hindi ko ma-explain kung paano ko siya ilalatag. Walang paglugaran yung kaligayahan ko kasi it was never, never in my wildest dreams na inisip ko makikilala ako sa ibang bansa for, for, for my craft. But, Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you talaga. Thank you very much, Miss Judy Ann. Thank you po. Oh, ano pong uh, media outfit niyo pala, sir, and your name? My name is Amay Herrera from the Baisia for the crowning glory. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you, sir. Glory. Our next question po. Oh, sa sir po from Net25 uh, News. Uh, Bali po, Derek Brillante, ano po, after po nitong Cairo at after po nitong uh, MMFF, meron pa pong bang next na film festival, uh, local at international po na sasalihan ng Mindanao? Well, uh, at international, meron mga nakalainap na mga festival. Hindi ko pwedeng sabihin kasi uh, confidential pa. Pero after the Metro, Ma Metro Manila Film Festival, meron pang mga nakasusunod na mga film festival abroad. Sana makapunta na si Judy. Sana? Nintay, wala, makaante na nga yung kalendaryo ko para siguradong nandun ako. Okay, thank you very much. Any more questions from our friends from the media? Yes sir, may microphone po malapit sa inyo, I think. Lapit lang po kayo dyan. Please state your name and uh, media organization or affiliation, and then your question, Paul. Good afternoon. Uh, Sorry, hindi ka namin makita. <laughs> Ayaw, gusto kong umupo. Mahirap tumayo. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, sir. Go ahead. Ako si Leo ng Push.com Journal Publication, etc. Congratulations muna, Juday. Thank you so much. I miss you so much. I miss you. Uh, ang laki ng ano ng expectation sa movie kasi di ba Cairo best actress ka Juday yung kasama mo diyan na si Alan ay multi awarded international best actor din ang kung di ako nagkakamali pito yata ang international acting award niyan ngayon I'd like to know Juday kung, kung how was it working with an equally talented actor like Alan na kasing halos pareho na kayo eh, may, may internationally acclaimed nung ginagawa nyo ang Mindanao. Um, hindi naman mahirap katrabaho si Allen kasi even though ito yung first project namin together, it's not hard to work with him. Though, very few lang yung scenes namin dito but I see that the, yung mga scenes na ginawa namin was very important. It's a big, big uh, part of the movie na may mga eksena kaming Koting-kote pero may kahulugan, mabibigat siya at makikita mo yung mensahe. Uh, silent actor si Allen eh. Bibitaw lang siya kapag uh, rumorolyo na yung 
camera, yung ganon, yung yung. But we both, we both uh, listen to each other. We we support each other. Kasi pareho kami magulang. So isa kami na pinanggagalingan ng emotion. Isa kami na pinanggagalingan ng ng um, hugot pagdating sa mga eksena namin. And with Derek Brillante, very clear kasi yung gusto niya. Oh, so, hindi siya mahirap itawin. na tame ka ng konti dito. Ano? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Talagang... Asa, ibang... Iba ibang klase. Oo, iba ka dahi. Iba. Iba siya. <laughs> Oo. Tapos pareho din kayong ano, uri ang awardee. So, ang, ang ganda ng ano nyo, di ba? Ng rapport nyo. Kahit, mag, kahit ilan lang yung mga eksena mo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ibang klase. And, and congrats. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next question, please. See my question. Okay, ma'am. Hello, Miss Mars from uh, Stake That Page. Congratulations po. Very moving yung film. And at the same time, very realistic. That's po. Pwede ko po marinig si Princess Aisa because ang, ang hirap ng mga eksena niya, di ba? Yes! Because he's with her uh, being a uh, cancer patient and everything. So, yung effects, yung sweros, hospital. So, explain mo naman na uh, Princess na talaga tawag nila. <laughs> yung ano mo, uh, experience and nakasama mo sila dito Juday, ni Allen. Masaya po dahil po naging magulang ko po sila Miss Allen Ticho at, at saka si Miss Judy Ann. Masaya po. Mm -hmm. And anyway, nasaktan ka ba doon sa mga eksena? Yung lalo na yung nagsisizure ka and all. Hindi po. Ah, uh, ang ganyan. <laughs> 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 Best actors ka rin. <laughs> So introductory movie, no first first movie po niya direct introduction. And uh, um sa so tingin mo um at how ilang taon ka na ngayon? 6 po. 6. So naiintindihan oh mo na yung yung sakit na pinotray mo sa scene. And ano ba sabi mo doon sa mga ibang bata na meron ding ganung sakit na tutulot mo sa pelikula? Sana pa suportahan niyo po ang movie namin na Mindanao. <laughs> Thank you. And okay, Miss Judy and Kaiser Allen, so you now have a very clear understanding of, you know, what the parents of, uh, of Muslims go through because of this movie. Yung po ba yung isa sa mga important takeaway from Mindanao? Well, I guess not just, not just that. Um, basically, part of, um, well, of the movie is basically sending a message to everyone that uh, it really doesn't matter if we're uh, in different religions. Diba? Kanya-kanya tayo na religion, pero pagdating sa tunay na buhay, iisa lang naman ang pinagdadaanan natin at pagdadaanan natin. Pag may sakit, may sakit. Bilang sundalo naman, Muslim na sundalo, ipaglalaban ng Pilipinas sa kapwa niya Muslim. So parang, it's, it's sending a message na we cannot judge each and every person based on their religion. We have our own different problems and we have to respect that. It doesn't matter if, if, mayaman, mahirap, pag nagka-cancer, nagka-cancer, and, and you have to support each other. And we cannot judge kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng mga kapwa nating Muslim sa Mindanao. Basically, parang um, masyado kasi tayong <clears throat> nagiging judgmental eh. Pag sinabing Mindanao, nako ganito, nako ganyan. There's more to it than just the war. There's more to it than just poverty. There's more to it than just being a Muslim. Marami rin silang pinagdadaanan and we have to see that part of them also, and understand that all of us are human beings. All of us are created equally by God, and we really have to respect each other and really support each other. I thank you. Yes! Thank you, Mr. Yes. Uh, 